quite a climb. This is the the sixth floor of this building. So that's like 60 feet up. Took my body, got it up here. By running all the way, that's 60 feet of weight, 60 feet of, of height, sorry, 200 pounds. That's 1,200 foot pounds. And running up is like, <laughs> I didn't run up. I took the elevator, but it doesn't matter because whether I run up the stairs really fast or take the elevator, stop on the third floor for some lunch, and then come up later, I'm still getting the same amount of work done. I went up 60 feet, I got 200 pounds, weight times height, that's 1,200 pounds of work. So no matter how fast or how slow you do something, you know, raise your body up to a certain height, the work's the same, it doesn't matter. But time can be important. That's power. Power is work over time. Mechanical work divided by time is mechanical power. If I take fluid work divided by the time it takes to do it, I, I get the fluid power. You know, the work that's done in raising these clouds, that's a lot of water, right? You've got to evaporate the water, neglect that, then you've got to take that water vapor, raise it up to a certain altitude, thousands of feet. That's work. Now, how fast you do it, that's work divided by time. That's power. Electrical power is the rate at which you deliver electrical work. Well, electrical work is voltage times current times time. So power is just voltage times current. There's rotational power associated with rotational work. And we've already talked about uh, heat transfer rate. So let's combine these. Oh, remember, there are lots of different units for power. There's, um, let's see, you have joules for work. Now, a joule per second, that's the rate at which you do work, that's power. A joule per second is a watt. W-A-T-T. -T. A horsepower is, uh, I think it's uh, 746 watts. Um, a foot-pound per second. And there are 550 foot-pounds per second in a, um, in a horsepower. And there are calories per second. And BTUs per hour. All these are, all these are values of energy or work over time. And that's power. Energy over time or work over time. Let's do some examples. So let's look at uh, some of the equations for power. Oh, that's fresh. Let's see. For uh, mechanical, linear mechanical, power is work over time. Um, force times distance, that's linear work. Force times distance over time. And distance over time, that's velocity. So I could also say that's force times velocity. If I'm raising a, a weight, some object, some mass through a gravitational field, then it would be uh, like mass times gravity, that would be the force times the height. And again, divided by the time. Or weight times height over time. So lots of ways to put together the linear mechanical aspects of it. If I'm uh, looking at rotational, so I'll put down an LM for linear mechanical. And RM here for rotational mechanical. In this case, power, just like before, it's work over time. So what we're doing is we're revisiting the first quarter of this, where we look at all the different uh, expressions for work. Uh, work, is, work is torque times the angle you move through. So that's... Uh, Torque times theta over time. And in this case, the rate at which you move through an angle, that's the angular velocity, omega. So power is work over time, which is torque times theta over time, which is torque times omega. If we do uh, fluid mechanical, I'll call that FM for fluid mechanical. Power is, well, it's work over time. And that is, hmm, fluid work is pressure difference times volume over time. And volume over time, that's volume flow rate. So that's pressure difference, delta P, times volume flow rate, depending on what your inputs are. Now electrical work, call that EM. 
powers work over time. Which is, uh, let's see, work is, uh, is potential difference times the charge that's being displaced. Delta V times Q over time. But charge over time, that's current. That's electrical current. So we've got voltage times current. So electrical power is just voltage times current. Now, Ohm's law says that I can restate this in a few ways. I've got uh, voltage is current times resistance. So if I want to replace the voltage in this equation, I can say power is voltage times current, or it's current squared times the resistance. Or I can take out the current with this equation, with Ohm's law, and I can say it's voltage squared over time. A couple more equations. So these are the basic power equations. Now as far as thermal energy goes, we've had that. That's just the heat transfer rate, which is just heat over time. Is that everything? Oh, yeah. A lot of times we're converting energy from one force, from one for, uh, source to another, or, um, or power. So we want to know about the efficiency. There's input power and output power. The efficiency is output power over input power times 100 percent. Or sometimes you just use a fraction, right? If it's 50 percent effective, sometimes we'll say the efficiency is 0.5. So in that case, it would just be P out over P in, output power over input power. If you see the uh, efficiency expressed as a fraction, then you use this equation. If you see it expressed as a percentage, you use that equation. So we should do an example.